Uh, do we have uh, Mr. Uh, Curtis Wild on? You got me. Well, let me give you a proper introduction. Welcome to the Undisputed Wrestling Show, Volatile Curtis Wild. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing good, guys. I'm doing good. Taking it wild style in St. Louis, doing it like only we do. And uh, glad to be on the show tonight. How's everybody else? We are doing fantastic. I'm I'm Zane Paisley and uh, the Bearded Wonder. We've got uh, Mr. Drew Skills on with us, the Heroes and Legends champion uh, for the past 1,100 days. And uh, we have the NWA Continental Champion representing Kakalaki, uh, the Morning Star, Will Huckabee. So, uh, Curtis, uh, one of the, uh, your first time uh, guest on our show, we like to uh, start off with uh, what got you into pro wrestling uh, in the first place. Oh, man, uh, I lived in St. Louis, and uh, when you lived in St. Louis, at the time that I lived in St. Louis, you were able to catch World Class Championship Wrestling one hour, the next hour, Wrestling at the Chase, the hour after that, you had uh, Smoky Mountain, or, or you know, a, a syndicated program like Georgia Championship Wrestling, things like that would just air randomly in St. Louis, so I was able to, to get... Uh, Bit by the bug pretty early by that programming because those guys were, were my heroes. You know, they were the only ones that weren't animated that were doing things like they were doing. Awesome. So, uh, how, how did you get into, uh, pro wrestling? Cause you've been at it for, what, about 15 years now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, my first taste of, uh, uh, checking out a pro wrestling ring up close and personal at a pro wrestling gym was Sam DeSero's Windy City Wrestling. Uh, and at the time, I, I got snuck in the ring by a buddy of mine, Lou Dog Downey Farrell, and he showed me how to bump a couple times, but it wasn't about until, uh, about a year later that I was able to actually get up enough money to train, and a couple of guys that were, were in a town near me were going up to Tim Wiles Powerhouse Championship Wrestling, and getting trained by Brian Dean, Mr. Mr. Intensity Brian Dean, uh, and, those two guys ended up being the Phoenix Twins, Tweak and Dash, and they went to, uh, Burt Clinic, and they went up to, to, uh, Rock and Randy's promotion in Northern Illinois. I forgot what that, that was called this time, but, uh, and, and then I went and did my thing after, after Powerhouse Championship Wrestling, and that's kind of how, how things came about, but I ended up, for about two, three years straight, I was doing triple shots every weekend, and, uh, Wrestling in multiple states, I'd do, you know, Friday night in Wisconsin, a Saturday in Indiana, a Sunday in Missouri, or Kentucky, or uh, Indiana. I said Indiana. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, just all around, man. Just doing the thing and enjoying it. Well, you took, a, you took a little break for a little while, right? What was going on with that? Were you injured? Well, I took almost five years off, and what that really was was... Uh, you know, a case of life got in the way and, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta go on and, and live some real life. And in the time that I was away, I ended up getting engaged and getting married and having a, a little girl and that little girl three years old now. So we were able to kind of explore our, uh, our fancy, so to speak, and, and itch that scratch again. Well, congratulations on the little girl. Now I had the opportunity to meet you, uh, with, uh, our uh, executive producer, uh, the Prophet Rick Craig, at Heroes and Legends 5 in Fort Wayne uh, a little mm-hmm. while ago, uh, and you were with your lovely uh, valet, Wildfire. Can you tell our listeners about her? Uh, yeah. Uh, we met in, in 2003, 2004. She's way better than dates than I am, but uh, <laughs> we're going – we're over 10 years now of actually being together. We're over five years of being married, and – uh, she's a, a part-time model, full-time mommy, massage therapist, and uh, just all-around holistic health enthusiast. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Now, did you get her into the wrestling business, or is that how you guys met? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she was uh, she was interested in wrestling. She had checked out, I think, two shows in Chicago uh, before she moved down down to St. Louis to see me and and to live with me but uh yeah i mean it was never quite her thing but once we uh once we got together it was kind of a natural natural thing and 
and she's got a, a natural charisma to her and a great energy, and she's absolutely gorgeous. So that doesn't <laughs> hurt in the wrestling business. No, it does not. Well, speaking of absolutely gorgeous, I am going to kick it over to uh, my uh, tag team partner, the Morning Star, Will Huckabee. Will, what do you have for uh, volatile Curtis Wilde? Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for being a uh, being a guest on the show and stuff, man. We really do appreciate having a guy with your experience up here, you know, kicking it with us and stuff. You get tired of listening to Drew flap his gums all the time. Ah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, first off, I want to ask you stuff. You know, you mentioned your, your valet and stuff, who was also your wife, Wildfire. Um, tell us, you know, what's some of the good things about, you know, having your, your spouse with you on the road and some of the difficulties and stuff, you know, the good things, the bad things, et cetera, et cetera. Well, it makes it a whole lot harder to hook up with rats. <laughs> 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 it, or it might make it easier depending on what she's into. Hey, uh, I'm not going to talk about our personal business on the air. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, the, the fact is is that, you know, traveling with her and just being with her in general, uh, she just makes everything about my life easier, man. So uh, there, there's a reason that, that uh, we work out so well as a team. I was able, you know, now my next question is, what's different this time? You know, this, this go around, you know, being a part of the business and stuff and going out there. What's different this time than it was before you took your break? Uh, what do you enjoy more now than you did before? Uh, and what's some of the things that you might have took for granted when you first got started that uh, now, you know, you really appreciate? What, what was the last part of it that I really, that now I really appreciate? Yeah, I was saying, what were some of the things that you might have took for granted before when you first got to the business, before you took your break? that now, you know, you really appreciate stuff you look forward to? Um, well, the the thing that I'm doing now that I didn't do then is slow the help down. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, the old saying goes, if you're going slow, or if you feel like you're going slow, go slower. Uh, you know, the crowd is going to react. And if you give them more time to react and take a little bit more time and tell that story a little bit better, uh, then then it makes it a whole lot easier on you, man. I'm working smarter and not harder, and it's a whole lot less difficult than, you know, trying to, to go balls to the wall and, and throw it all out there every time. I'm, I'm still leaving it in the ring, uh, but I, I've got to bring some home too. Uh, so that's the, the to the second part of your question, what's the thing that I took for granted when I was younger? And that's healing, the healing factor of a young man. Uh, you know, I'm 35 years old now and I just don't bounce back as easily as I did before. I get out of bed and I'm feeling 55 and that's how it goes. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pass it on over to the Heels and Legends champion, Drew. Drew, what do you have for the wild style? Hey, uh, Curtis, man, it's good to talk to you. Uh, at first I didn't, it, it took me a second, but, uh, I, I remember seeing you, uh, last year, man. It was good to meet you. It was good to meet you too. It was good to meet you too. 1100 days. That's, that's an accomplishment. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, uh, it, it means a lot to me. Um, tell us about your social media and, and where people can follow you. I'm actually looking now at, uh, at your website. You got some cool stuff on there. I, I try to keep up with it. it. It's probably about three weeks behind of what it should be. I, I'm really trying to promote this, uh, cage match coming up with Sean Vincent. And I haven't been able to, to put as much time into the website and the web content the last couple weeks, but, uh, yeah, I, I try to, to keep that going, and I got a lot of pokers in the fire. So, yeah, my web presence is really important because, you know, that's the only way. If you don't promote yourself, nobody's just going to do it for you. For sure. For sure. You got you to gotta build your brand. Is that uh, is that the same guy that you uh, worked with at, at Five? Yeah, man, this thing's been going on for about a year. Right on. I, I knew you guys were uh, you guys were feuding then as well. Tell me about this uh, iCleanAmerica dot com. Well, actually, the the iCleanAmerica dot com aspect kind of died, uh, and I've really been trying to reignite it, but other things gotten in, in the way. Kind of uh, well, like pro wrestling <laughs> <laughs> has kind of taken my focus. But the idea behind iClean uh, was that we were going to kind of bring communities together and, and do cleaning events, uh, volunteer only. Um, and, and that started out of an idea that was born. Uh, me and my wife lived on top of a nightclub and we came home at, at five o'clock in the morning and 
there was an elderly couple picking up some trash and we walked over and helped them out and uh, told them that, uh, that we didn't understand why we weren't doing this already. So we actually, instead of just the two of us, because this was an area with a bunch of nightclubs and a lot of broken glass and a lot of trash, uh, we weren't going to put much of a dent in it, just the two of us, but we did a fundraiser for cleaning products and uh, shovels and brooms and, and all this other stuff. And then we brought the community together and had two uh, two years straight of, of big volunteer cleaning events that were covered all over St. Louis. They were on the news and uh, multiple channels, all that good stuff. But it kind of brought awareness, a little bit of awareness to keep that area a little cleaner. Well, that sounds great, man. I hope you, uh, hope you do get that going again. Uh, and well, that, at, that, at this point, I gotta be honest with you, Drew. I, I just don't like people as much as I used to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not much of a people person either. <laughs> <laughs> we talked yeah, about does, your... Especially when they're yelling at me from the other side of the rail. <laughs> we talked about your, uh, website. That's curtiswild.com. Uh, Curtis with a C. And that, that's, that, yeah, as Curtis with a C and W Y L D E because I like to be different. There you go. How about uh social media? Are you on social media? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Uh the Twitter uh, I'm not that huge on. I probably don't have very many followers on it and I definitely don't follow very many people. Uh rarely go to it, but they can find me on the Facebook at Wild Online. That's my my page and uh Wildfire is is Facebook dot com slash number one ninja and that's ginger like ninja with a G. So number one ginger. Uh and then we've got our we've got our shirt stores. I've got mine at curtiswild.spreadshirt.com. She's got hers at wildfire.spreadshirt.com. Spelled the same way, W Y L D E F Y R E. Oh for the ladies if they want to go get themselves some wildfire apparel or uh, you know, look like only she can, or at least as close to her as they possibly could. Right on. Uh, what uh, you, you talked about the cage match? What 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 do you got going on as far as matches? Where can uh, our listeners see it? What do you got coming up? Well, we got uh, December twelfth in, in East Carondelet, Illinois, which is just outside of St. Louis. It's about ten miles from downtown St. Louis. Uh, we're going to be having a big triple cage uh, match to end the year. Wow. So we're going to, you know, Sean Vincent and I, we've been doing this thing for a year. It's boiled over, and him and I are going to lock horns one last time, hopefully. Hopefully he, he never even attempts to step in a professional wrestling ring with me again and never tries to ride my coattails anymore. <laughs> um, but uh, aside from that, we would have Gary Jackson, who is a legend in this industry, Gary Jackson against Attila Khan, the Mongolian madman. So that's a, a huge match in and of itself. Gary's been to WWF. He's been to WCW. He's been all over the world. I, I believe he's been to Japan. Uh, and then the main event is Ron Powers, who has also been to WWF, WCW, Japan, all over the world, Puerto Rico. Um, Ron Powers, Cahagas, the former NWA heavyweight champion. Pretty sure you guys are aware of him. Mm-hmm. Um, and Flash Flanagan of OVW fame and you know, the Flash Flanagan is going to be the uh, triple main uh, triple threat match for the uh, Classic Heavyweight Championship. So three huge cage matches. He's Carondelet, Illinois, this Saturday night, and it's going to be Thunderdome style, gentlemen. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, well I want to uh, thank you for coming on, Curtis, and talking to us and letting us know a little bit more about you and the things you got going on. I'm going to pass it right back on over to the bearded wonder, Zane Paisley. Well, Sounds I, good. Appreciate your time. I, I know that you've been uh, working with Sean Vincent for over a year now. Uh, you know, in, in your uh, year, in your in the past year, you're culminating right now with the cage match. You guys have done a strap match. You know, over your entire career, what's been one of the craziest uh, gimmick matches that you've ever done? Well, that was probably a Hell on Earth match, which was a two out of three falls match, and, and and that took almost a year to build up to, too. But it was a two out of three falls match, falls count anywhere, uh, anything goes, tables, ladders, and chairs. So 
So we were able to do tables, ladders, and chairs anywhere in the building and falls counted anywhere. So we didn't even have to stay in the building. We, well, we did. We didn't stay in the building because he's not going to take me outside. Uh, well, and on your, on Curtis Wilde, that's C-U-R-T-I-S-W-Y-L-D-E dot com. You've got a couple other links. What, what are some of your uh, interests outside of pro wrestling? Well, I mean, I've got uh, various interests, but I I do editing for for video. I started doing that kind of as a, a fun thing on the side, and uh, people started being willing to pay me for it. So before you know it, I, I was doing that, and uh, I actually edit videos on the side for pro wrestlers. So if anybody wants a, a cool highlight video, uh, throwing that out there, check me out at curvesfile dot com, and we can talk. Um, but I've put together quite a few highlight videos. For myself that make me look way better than I really am. So <laughs> I can I can do the same thing for you fellas. Um, <laughs> and then uh, and then I've managed a band. I've uh, promoted my own my own different events. Uh, let's keep this between us and, and internet land. But I actually did an event that was uh, 420 at Foo Bar here in St. Louis. It was on 420 at 420 for 420. We had 21 bands, and we had four, uh, or we had two magicians and four or five comedians. Huge show. Um, so I just uh-huh. kind of I follow my fancies, you know. If there's something that I'm interested in, or something that I'm passionate about, I'm just gonna go for it. Who who are bigger divas, uh, wrestlers or rock stars? Bigger divas. No, like who who are bigger divas? I, I would have to or, say wrestlers. To with? Pro I would wrestlers have to say or wrestlers. rock stars. Pro wrestlers are bigger divas than rock stars. Really? Yeah. Why do you yeah, say that? For the most part. Well, I mean, there, there's uh, you know a lot of great locker rooms out there, and a lot of people who uh, respect the the business and respect how things are done and and all that good stuff. But uh, the politics and and the whiny about you know. Uh, getting your shit in and, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> wanting to shine and, and things like that. But, yeah, wrestlers definitely make themselves out to be bigger divas than guys in bands. Well, I know that uh, our time is drawing short with you. What what do you want to have to say to uh, your fans out there that are listening tonight? I just want to let them know that this Saturday night in East Carondelet, Illinois, Sean Vincent is going to lock horns one more time with the Lion of the Loo, the Wolf of West County, the Spark of Forest Park. He's going to step on through to the wild side, and I'm going to leave him laying just like I did last month and just like I have been doing for an entire year. He is never going to ever want to lock horns with me again. So I want to make sure that they all know that and to check out CurtisFall.com and check me out on Facebook and all that good stuff. And I look forward to being on your show again, guys. Well, thanks so much. And give uh, Wildfire our warmest regards and, She's got to be a heck of a woman to put up with you. <laughs> she absolutely is. As a matter of fact, she is, uh, you know, more more woman than most men. So, <laughs> and, and that's proven on almost a monthly basis in FICW. Well, excellent. Thanks so much for coming on. We appreciate it. And we'll have you on again soon. All right, guys. Have a good night. All right. Good thank night. you. Thanks. All right, uh, Kev, before we wrap up, are you back on with us? Is your mic working? It's back working again. What's going on at, on Angry Marks this week? I know uh, Christmas is coming up. Uh, what, what's what's going on with uh, Angry Marks uh, Podcast Network? We're just cruising through, same as always. We're going to do our own little review of uh, or preview of TLC this coming Thursday night on Thursday Night AMP, along with catching up with all the other wrestling related news that happens between then and now wednesday nights of course we've got glove up or shut up with stevie j and peter h covering the world of mixed martial arts there's never a dull moment there and always something newsworthy breaking so check out huge that down on tomorrow. This weekend. what's that huge pay-per-view this weekend mma absolutely i mean jose aldo versus uh mcgregor yep that that's definitely going to be one you don't want to miss too so we've got that going on. We just uploaded the newest episode of Raw Reaction. If you kind of didn't get the idea of just how great Raw was from tonight's discussion, then go, <laughs> then uh, go back and let uh, 
Mr. Um, why did their names just slip my mind? Tensai? Yes, thank you. Angry Tenzai and Big Vic, let them run down the show for you. We did the show in about 40 minutes, and I don't think we've done a show that short in over a year. Yeah. So, but it's always an entertaining download. It's one of our most downloaded shows on the network, so check that out as well. And plenty more shows. They, they probably have more listeners than Raw has viewers right now. I, um, I, I think oh. it, it may be getting close there. It may be legitimately getting close. Yeah. I mean, heck, at, at this point, TNA's kind of looking at I'm going, you know, we might have a shot here. <laughs> Speaking of TNA, of course, we always have the Impact Implosion with Seth Drake and Mike Poulin um, coming to you on the weekends for the next couple of weeks. But once TNA gets moved over to their new network, then we are going to be recording that live every Tuesday night at 11.30 p.m. after the Undisputed show wraps up. Oh, wow. You know, so if it's not a crazy enough night for you... And you're really hardcore about TNA wrestling and you miss TNA impact because you were listening to the undisputed wrestling show. Then you want to listen to Seth Drake and Mike Poulin break down the show for you every, every week in uh, starting in January. The awesome. award winning, the award winning undisputed wrestling show. Absolutely. Only on the Angry Marks podcast network. Well, I mentioned this earlier. Next week will be a, a great week for us. It will be our 100th episode on the Undisputed, or excuse me, on AngryMarks.com, uh, the Angry Marks Podcast Network. We're very proud of that. Um, it's it's been a great time. We'll have some. We'll reminisce. Um, we've got two great guests. We've got uh, Dan the Beast Severn, uh, former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, of course, UFC Champion. Um, and and then we'll also have uh, the franchise Troy Miller, one of our favorite guests, and uh, been promised by the prophet Rick Craig that he will be stopping by uh, to wax nostalgic with us. So it uh, should be a great show. Uh, Jane, on the- yes, sir. I thought you said we have two great guests. You mentioned seven. <laughs> oh, oh, Troy, you we love you, Troy. We're hoping that you and Libby do very well this week with uh, – with Bam and, and hopefully he'll be coming out real soon. So, uh, yeah. and, uh, so on the 22nd, we've got wise guy, Jimmy Cicero, uh, one of Q's favorite guys. Uh, he'll be on with us and, uh, I'm really excited. Uh, TVZ, Tom and Troy Van Zant, who legitimately frightened me. Uh, they'll be on, uh, on the 22nd as well. So, uh, really looking forward to the next couple of weeks. Uh, Drew, you have anything to say before we wrap up? Uh, no, just, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button for Angry Marks Podcast Network on iTunes as well as on, uh, your Android play on the play, the play store on Android, uh, SoundCloud, all those things. Give us a review and, uh, you know, we'll keep bringing you great shows, man. We've been doing it big. We've had some really big guests. Uh, December started off with a bang with Bob Holly and tonight Abyss and man, it's just rolling. I, I, I really look forward to these Tuesdays, man. I'm, 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 uh, blessed to have the friends that I have in this business and be able to sit and talk and, uh, and talk about the passion that I love. Awesome. Very well said. Will, you have anything to say before we wrap? Uh, yeah, you know, same thing as Drew, man. You know, you love the show. If you like this show, you know, Share everything online and stuff. Make sure you go and download the show and listen to it when you ain't doing nothing during your day. Uh, and also, you know, this week, go out and support indie wrestling. You know, find a show close by you. If you don't like what's on TV and stuff, there's always an alternative uh, within about 45 minutes to an hour of your stuff. So support indie wrestling, people. Yeah. Um, Want to give another shout-out to Sign Guy. He's traveling up and down the Pacific Northwest. Sign he'll Guy. Be, he'll be seeing you uh, on the 29th, or excuse me, the 20th. Uh, in, in Portland, Oregon. Really looking forward to hearing the results of that event. Uh, if, if you're, uh, in the Indianapolis area on Friday, every Friday night, WCWO Outlaw Arena, 1151 South Kentucky Avenue. I will be back there again this Friday to, uh, to introduce the stars of, of WCWO. So come out and support it. Support independent wrestling. It's all fine and good to watch Raw and, and SmackDown and, Check out the TLC pay-per-view. It's a lot of fun, you know, but uh, to really see what wrestling, pro wrestling is all about, come out and check it out, an independent show. So, 
All right. Uh, for uh, the NWA Continental Champion, Morningstar Will Huckby. For the Heroes and Legends Champion, Drew Skills. This is the Bearded Wonder. Have a great night. <laughs>